this is for anyone who has trouble hitting the timing in uh, the game because basically if you don't hit the timing it doesn't really matter how much effort you're putting into it so that's very important to master now when you see the, the hit range when the move enters the lower half before it enters the square if you um, that that's when you should be starting the move for the moves that take like the uppercut, the hook, but not for example the jab because that's basically instantaneous. But you want to start the move but you want to make sure to not complete it before it enters the square. And the square is also, for, for some of the moves you do them so fast, again for example the jab, you do that so fast that um, don't start doing it until it's in the square, there's no uh, need. Now it varies on the different um, moves what you want to start doing before it enters the square and you know how how long you want to um, I, I say the, the golden rule is be ready to do the move, you know if you're gonna do the hook make sure that you're standing like this before you enter the rings um, or the uppercut be standing, you know, be be ready. Sorry, I'm gonna... Like that, you know, be ready to do the move before it enters the rings. That's the the best way to go. Even if you're just getting ready for it a fraction of a second before it enters the rings, try to do that when possible. It'll help. Other than that, I don't really know what to tell you to help with the timing. Um, practice and um, you know have fun with it you know that's that's why you're that's part of the reason why you're playing a video game and finally this really does go without saying but you know when whenever you duck make sure to be because it is by the Wii modes that the game reads you as ducking and um, getting back up so always make sure to bring your arms down with you when you duck and back up with you when you get back up. Otherwise, it won't count the duck. I think that's about it. Um, it's it's also a good idea to try to put some force behind the blow. I, I think that helps the game read it uh, more and helps you distinguish more between when you're starting the move and when you're completing it. So that's it. See you next time.